Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sip's Techie Tips. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to program the drum pads so that when you press them, they appear in color. Or you can program them so they don't light up at all. And this um, mini controller was provided to me by Van Gogh. They are the biggest sellers of world musical instruments. And these buttons can be programmed with uh, RGB um, scheme of colors. And that stands for red, green, blue. So let's get started. If you haven't done so already, you need to download this um, World Tuna Mini Editor. You can find it at en.world with the extra e dot com dot c n and uh, while you're there you go to downloads and also download the tuna mini quick start the tuna mini manual and the editor for your computer whether it's pc or Macintosh. In the manual you need to go to page 20 and find the color chart with the settings for the different colors and it lists nine different colors you can have but you can make your own if you know and understand how to use RGB color schemes. We're going to start click on button one on in the editor and you will see that the default values are there. 100 for red, 100 for green, 100 for blue. I want to set button 1 to red. That means I want red, no green, no blue. And I also want to set it to the maximum value, 127. So we go to red, we go to 127. Unfortunately, it's off, it's off the... Um, the, the screen area 127 I want to change green to 0 and I want to change blue to 0 okay that takes care of the first one I want to set button 2 which is here I want to set it to green now green is easy also because I want green no red, no blue. So we're going to change red to zero. I want to change red to zero. I want to change green to the maximum, 127. I want to set blue to zero. And that should give me a green button. Button 3, I want to set to blue. So I click on button 3. I'm going to give 0 for red, 0 for green, and blue, the maximum, which is 127. All right. Number four, I want to set to cyan. Cyan is a blue-green. All right. Now, cyan has no red in it. So we will set that one to zero. We need zero for red. We need 127 for green. And we need 127 for blue. And that takes care of number four, cyan. Number five, I'm going to set to orange. Orange comes from red and yellow. This is how you make orange. So I'm going to turn on red all, all the way to 127. I am going to turn green. 
to 127. And I am going to turn blue to 0. Okay. Now, what this does is, um, oh no, I'm going to turn, I'm going to set green to 82. 82. There you go. So you have to read the, the page 20. You need to get the color chart and you will see that the settings for orange are 127 for red, 82 for green, and 0 for blue. And I said you make orange by mixing red and yellow, but the yellow is in the green. <laughs> so that's why you set it that way. Next, number six. So button six, I will set to yellow. And here's how you, you can see where the yellow comes from. We're going to set green to maximum. We're going to set, I'm sorry, we set red to maximum. And we set green to maximum. We set blue to zero. Okay, so that should give us a yellow one. Number seven. Number seven, we should set to magenta. Magenta is not here, but there, magenta is used to make red, and magenta also contains blue. So magenta is a purple color, which is a mixture of blue and red. And so we'll set red to maximum, 127. We will set green. We don't need any green. So we set that to zero. And we need blue. And that's 127. That should do it. And number eight, typically they're white, but we want a black button, one that has no light at all. So we will say send no red light, no red, send no green, <clears throat> and send no blue. All right. I'm going to set this to work area 4. That is my preset 4. And I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to set my curve to full. And that's just personal. I'm a beginner. I'm not really good at, at uh, pushing the keys uh, with the right velocity. So anytime I touch a key, it's going to play full volume. And then I will send that to number four. And there it goes. You cannot run your um, digital audio workstation and the editor at the same time. So if you're having a problem, that might be it. Right now, my keyboard is set to preset one. Okay. And you can tell that all the buttons are the same color. It calls them white, but they're not exactly white. They look a little blue to me. I'm bad with colors. All right. Now I'm going to change to preset four. And I hope you can see the color in these. That is one, so it's red. That's my red color. Two, that's my green. Three is blue, that's my blue. Four, four is cyan. Blue, and cyan is blue-green. 
five is orange, six is yellow. You can see the red and the and the orange. You can see it mostly around the edges, and that's because of the way the camera picks up color. Seven is magenta, which is a purple kind of a color. This is blue, and this is magenta. And number eight is all zeros. So you see that it does not light up. So if you want to have a preset where none of the drum pads light up, change them all to zero. And if you want to work on one particular preset, set the preset to the one you want to work on before you start the editor. And that will load the values of that preset. And that's all there is to set in the colors. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something. I know I did. If you've enjoyed watching this video, then give me a thumbs up. And if not, you can give me a thumbs down. That's okay too. And your comments are always welcome. You can leave them in the space below. And you can let me know what you think about uh, colored buttons. Does it help you? Uh, is it better to turn them all off? Let me know. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe. If you want to be notified of each new video, click on the bell. That's always fun to do. So until next time, take care.